In this video I will show you all the information that you need to know about the new tank game of Modern Warships that will be released soon and here you will find exclusive leaks and the information that you haven't seen yet including new tanks, mechanics and the sneak peeks so stay tuned until the end because we will talk about the release date of this game Ok guys, with this video the tank mode was announced back in August 8th of 2021 Back then the developers were planning to add a tank mode to modern warships and not to create a new game as we have today So as you can see this was the first tank footage ever released So we have a tank there with a Yamato battleship So this was some kind of sign that we will have battles with between tanks and the warships with a new and unique game but it was some kind of impossible things to do and the devs later realized this information so later this was the second leak released for all the players okay so here we have a tank which is launching some jets in a brand new map so this was a new landscape so the devs announced that they were working in new landscapes because of the warship maps were too small and they were not as detailed as the new tank maps later they posted this picture announcing that the leopard tank will be the first tank developed for the new tank mode so we can see the tank here in some hangars with a few equipment back then this game was set to be released on December of 2022 almost one year ago so then the devs shared the pictures of the development and saying that they were working in the brand new mechanics that will be the best for mobile devices so they were claiming that they were building the best tank mobile game so as you can see this is a 3D model of the Leopard tank so this is pretty nice they say that to develop a tank you need to make one nominal tank and to finish all the mechanics on it before transferring the logic to the rest of the tanks so makes sense okay so this is interesting because this was the russian tech tree that was shared by the devs so so they said that they will add all these russian tanks to the game which is really interesting because we already saw a lot of those tanks in development also the same for the american tech 3 we already saw some incredible american tanks so this will be pretty nice okay so here we can see one of the first models okay so look at the date this was in december of 2021 the VMP-2 tank was announced, okay, so this is a Soviet Union infantry fighting vehicle, okay, so this is an improved version of the VMP-1, it's aimed at improving combat capabilities, okay, so later, in February 12th of 2022, the devs shared a picture of the T-62 so at this point we realized that we were going to get old and modern tanks within the same game which is actually amazing okay so here we have another picture of a camouflage of Annette in the Leopard tank okay guys look at this this is the m3 bradley tank okay so this was another tank uh, announced by the devs back in july 11 of 2022 Okay, so as you can see, it is a well-detailed tank that we will have in this new tank again. Okay, so this was another new Russian tank. Okay, so this one was announced uh, this year back in May 13. Okay, so this one has a 122mm howitzer cannon. Okay, so here we have some images of the tank mode. Remember that the first uh, image or the first uh, footage of the game we could spot that there were no armor in the tanks so that was something the devs changed maybe that was one of the causes of changing the date of the release of these tanks because they were improving the game and adding new mechanics so as you can see there are a lot of modules in those armors here's another picture well detailed about the armor and this will be a reactive armor so as you can see it is harder in some specific areas to be as realistic as possible okay here they announced another tank back in March 30 of this year this is the Soviet VRM1K 
tank with a 73mm thunder cannon on board. So here they shared the ammunition that will be available in the tank mode. We will have the SN cluster shell. Okay, so this shell disintegrates in flight into 30 shards that inflict the damage over a very large area. One round can penetrate armor up to 120 millimeters. The high explosive fragmentation deals shrapnel damage, does not require a direct hit does not ricochet, shrapnel pierce 80 mm armor. The ATGM, high explosive fragmentation. This is a missile that is launched from an artillery unit, gains altitude and it's controlled in flight. It is guided via drone. The missile is controlled like an ATGM. The heat of the missile penetrates up to 900 mm. Okay, so here we have the M3A3. Okay, so this has an armament of a 25 mm Auto cannon and a 7.62 millimeter machine gun. Okay, so as we can see, this is a really nice design of tank. Look at these guys. This is the magnificent T14 Armada. This is equipped with a 125mm 2A821M gun. The tank is packed with a large amount of modern protection and can easily drive away with the destroyed ammunition. On June of 2023, something important happened because the devs announced artillery mode. Okay, so they announced that there will be drones in the tank mode. So this drone will play an important role while getting into these battles. The drone comes with a thermal imager and it has a weapon in the form of a 7.62 mm machine gun. Okay guys, here we have another one of the tanks that were announced. This is the LAV 600. Okay, so as you can see, at this point uh, they announced a new physique for those uh, wheeled uh, type of vehicles. Okay, so we will have the normal tanks with their normal mechanics and uh, this type of wheeled uh, vehicles. Okay, so here we have another huge tank. Look at this, guys. It has a 152mm howitzer 2A64. It is controlled like a normal tank and the cannon looks in the crosshair of the side. Okay, so here we have the M1128 Striker with a 105mm gun. Okay, so this is a wheeled uh, vehicle capable of high speed distinctive tank. Okay guys, this one was one of the latest additions of the tank mode. The multiple launch rocket system. So this is a new mechanic for this tank game. Okay, so this is also a wheeled type vehicle. And as you can see, it has an incredible design. Okay, so the devs said that this type of vehicles can destroy targets across the map, okay? So it has a longer range with uh, those rockets, okay? So this will be an incredible weapon to test in the game. And uh, also, one of the last leaks was the helicopters and uh, the aviation gameplay in this new tank game. Okay guys, so remember that the helicopters and the planes are not going to be the same as the modern warships, helicopters and the jet. It will be a complete different equipment and also a complete different design. So it seems like the physics will be more realistic, I guess. Also, we will be able to use helicopters to fight against tanks. But there will be a separate mode that won't include aviation, only tank battles. So remember that the name of this new tank game hasn't been posted yet, but the devs said that it could be something similar to Modern Warfront, because it is similar to the Modern Warships game. Okay guys, about the release date, we know that we will have an alpha test this December. Yes, it was already confirmed uh, by the devs, which means that the game will be released in 2024. Yes, it will be released with the tank, aviation, helicopters and all that stuff as a new brand game. At first, this game will be available only for mobile devices, that's what I guess, because 
we haven't heard anything about the PC version for this tank mode. So that's all the information that we have about the possible release of this game. It will be in the first quarter of 2024, that's what I guess. Remember that the devs always change the date of the release of this tank game. The first the release date was back in 2022, and look at this, two years later we will have this game. Now I wanted to share all the leaks in the tank mode up to this date. But I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls Cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off From the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all If you're patient and soon It can all be worth it All the searching Pain is never really permanent But damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence And it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some signs, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man
what you're doing like you said Keep everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with them
spot, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night, yeah? Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best 